Are you a software developer? Are you interested in getting started building IoT devices? Then let me show you this device. I'll give you a quick tour. It's called a Yoshi Pi, and I think it's a game changer for prototyping and building hardware projects. First, let's just take a quick tour of the device. We have the compute module, which is a Raspberry Pi Zero 2W. If we come across, we then have our display. This is a 320 by 240 TFT display with a touch screen. Over here, we have a real time clock. We have this connector, which is called a microbus connector. There are hundreds of devices that are available off the shelf, like this one, that have a standard pinout that then will plug directly onto this connector. We have a quick connector, which is another standard connector for I squared C. It allows you to plug in devices like this with just a simple cable and they can in fact be chained together so this can connect to yet another peripheral. This is a Grove connector. It also can be used to connect to the standard connector on peripherals. Across the bottom we have two dry contact relays. We've got up to nine digital outputs. A couple of these are shared with the touchscreen, so they can be used for the touchscreen or digital out. One thing that the Raspberry Pi itself is lacking is analog inputs. This adds four analog input channels. Then we have simple screw terminals to get to power, both 3.3 and 5 volts, as well as ground. And we have a couple of buttons that you can use for whatever you need in your application. Let's say you wanted to make a device that has an onboard display and you'd like to use some hardware, maybe a Raspberry Pi Zero to communicate with it. That's a pretty inexpensive and pretty common thing to want to do. To wire these two together, we have to wire this entire header up to the Raspberry Pi. We've got data for the display, we've got data for the touch screen. We also have a bunch of control lines. When we wire it up, it looks like this. You have to make sure that all of those wires are in the right place. You have to make sure that this breadboard has good uh, conductivity from these pins over to the display. If you've used one of these breadboards before, you'll know that with this many wires, this is a recipe for frustration. Instead of doing all of this, you can just use this instead. Instead of having to wire all of these, they're already connected via the circuit board. So everything going to these pins is already connected up to the Raspberry Pi. This Grove connector provides easy access to the I squared C bus. Let's say for example, we had a solution that we wanted to use micro servos for. Well, we can buy a driver board that can control up to 16 micro servos. It has pins here for the I squared C bus. We can get a simple I squared C Grove cable, plug it directly into our board, and we're ready to drive servos. Let's look at a simple case. I have a Raspberry Pi, and I have a sensor that provides some sort of data that I want to read from my device. The typical solution is to take the Raspberry Pi and wire it to a peripheral that's sitting on a breadboard. Breadboards can be a pain, and all of these wires can also be a challenge to keep straight. With the Yoshi Pi, we just take our peripheral that has a quick cable on it, and we just plug it directly into the board. It's now ready to go. The Microbus connector allows you quick access to hundreds of different peripherals. Let's say I wanted to measure temperature. I can get a temperature sensor and mount that on there. Maybe my application needs GPS. I can buy a GPS receiver module. It plugs in to that same header and now I have GPS for my device. Maybe I want to do something automotive. 
and connect to the CAN bus on my vehicle. I can get a CAN bus module and attach it. Again, it's that easy. We just plug in the module. It's already wired properly back to your Raspberry Pi. All of the digital IOs, analog inputs, relays, and power use screw terminals. These provide a very secure, positive fit for wires that are not going to pull out on you as you move the board around. Timestamping your data in an IoT solution is often very, very important. Raspberry Pis do not have an accurate clock to keep time, and if you don't have access to the network, you don't have NTP time. The Yoshi Pi includes a real-time clock to provide very accurate time management for your device. Another challenge that you can run into is if you need a peripheral that is fixed mounted to the Raspberry Pi. For example, I've got this IMU, which is an inertial measurement unit. This allows me to measure things like tilt. When they're separate like this, this can tilt and the Raspberry Pi doesn't. So what I have to do is I then have to design some sort of a board or enclosure or some sort of mount that allows me to tilt these things together. The Yoshi Pi has this prototype area up here that allows me to take that IMU and solder it directly onto the board so that when I move the board around, the IMU tilts with the board. So that's the Yoshi Pi, a tool for IoT developers to quickly prototype their solutions.